And a new poll conducted by Emerson College, The Hill, and Nexstar Media Group shows who's leading in the gubernatorial race and much more. Jeremiah Marshall is standing by live with a look at what current poll data shows. So, Jeremiah, what'd you learn? Absolutely, Sonia. So nothing has been set in stone just yet. Leaders with Emerson College say these are just poll numbers, basically a snapshot of what data currently shows. And so far in this governor's race here in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott has a 10% lead over Beto O'Rourke. Now, early voting voters we spoke to, they said there's still time to let your voices be heard. So come on and vote, because if we don't vote, we don't have a voice. Several early voters were found at Harlingen City Hall hoping to make a difference. It is extremely important for us as citizens to realize the privilege that we have constitutionally to vote in a fair and free election. The action of voting in our democracy is essential to our democracy in that voters who vote early end up voting for their entire lives. Here in Texas, a key race many are focused on who will take over the governor's seat. In the current Emerson Hill survey, data shows Governor Greg Abbott leading the polls. 52% of voters were more likely to vote for Abbott, while 42% would vote for O'Rourke, and 4% undecided. When it comes to favorability, 55% of people found Abbott favorable, while 45% found O'Rourke favorable. Beto, uh, he struggles with his name recognition. He has a 45% favorable rating, which is really strong. In fact, that's the same rating that he had a month ago. His problem is his unfavorable rating is over 50%. And so that's a really strong threshold to overcome. Data also shows that more men would vote Republican while more women would vote Democratic. Executive Director with Emerson College Polling Spencer Kimball says the gender divide is nothing new and happens in voting across the nation. What we're seeing not only in Texas but around the country is a big gender divide. And we see this in almost every state where the Republicans are doing better with male voters and Democrats are doing better with female voters. And many voters share what issues they want to see fixed. Abortion, um, the border, schools, all of that is very important to me. I am a Hispanic woman fighting for rights that my brand new great niece will never have in her lifetime that my sister and I have had, that my mother, my grandmother had. And my daughter, whether she was born male or female, it doesn't matter. I fight for all women. And polling experts also say at this time it's going to be tough for Beto O'Rourke to gain a lead over Greg Abbott. But we still have many weeks to vote, so things could change. For NBC 23, I'm Jeremiah Marshall. Sonia. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Jeremiah.